So over on the right hand side of the tractor, I got a couple of pieces of scrap metal. Um, I'm just gonna weld up in place to uh, reinforce the holes that I have mounted in here. So I just traced them through from the back with a marker, uh, traced them with a pencil on this side, and now I'm gonna grind down to the bare metal for the welding. Here you go, a little more truly terrible welding. So on the right hand side, I got in some extra scrap metal reinforcement plates, welded them primed it and hit it with some yellow paint. So I'm getting ready to put the motor into the tractor, but before I do, a couple of things to think of, um, and one is just where I connect the power. I'm choosing to go to these two lower connectors uh, because that's going to be very hard to get at otherwise once uh, the motor is down inside the tractor. Um, another thing to think about is reversing. I do not have reverse on this yet. I'm just trying to get it up and running. But if I want to add reverse, that means that um, I need to add some more cables and that'll be easy to connect to here. Um, but I'll just want to make sure to use some sort of a short pigtail or something so I can still get access to this. So I thought what I'd do is use this real heavy duty Anderson disconnect. So I'll connect that there. That way I'll have a quick disconnect. It'll be easy to access the cables. So I'll put that on, drop this down in, start running some of the bolts in here. And now the joy of trying to fit this inside. Always interesting. Hopefully this is the last time I should have to do this though. There's the engine hoist and I got the electric motor most of the way in, but the entire back of the tractor wraps around this thing. Um, I originally had to bust the weld over here, move the right hand side over a little bit. But now I should be able to squeeze it all together, start getting some of those mounting bolts in, and put on the sprocket. It took a little bit of work, but I did uh, get everything, all the holes lined up on this side. Um, and then I just took my 10 millimeter bolts, put them in, tighten them down. So as soon as I finish with this one, uh, the drive side of the motor will be in place. The back side is a little goofy, because I got a couple of non-parallel lines to deal with, but um, it's starting to look like something. Looks like a real project now, so that's pretty cool. Now on the right side of the tractor is a real pain getting these two holes in here. Um, I had to do a little bit of uh, dremeling to get the holes just right and then uh, use my marlin spike just to line things up, but I did finally get those in and now uh, it's just a matter of tightening down. If you look down here, look how far this is like way out. But as I tighten that in, it brings the box back in. Now basically, the two sides of the tractor are just sheet metal, but they're bolted to the motor, which is this huge indestructible thing that's not going nowhere. So now that that's bolted in place, we can uh, finally let go with the lift here. And then the uh, seat can go back on. Well, that's it for today, but I was feeling pretty good getting that motor in there was kind of a huge step. Um, tomorrow could be a long day, but I'm hoping to get the chain and sprocket drive in and maybe, maybe, maybe also install the battery and motor controller. See you next time.